Well, it's April 23rd in Minnesota, and it's still winter. We woke up this morning to another coating of snow, hopefully the last one. Actually, it's probably one of the prettiest with the snow sticking to the trees. So as usual, I took out my Canon uh, G5 and uh, took a few pictures. I normally just shoot in auto mode, uh, which is probably the lazy man's way of doing it, but I do it because I know I can fix it. As you can see that the snow images tend to turn out a bit bluish. So I'm working in Elements 11 and I'm going to select my, one of my favorite uh, plugins, which is iCorrect Edit Lab Pro from PictoColor. Now the first tab I'm going to remove this blue color cast by just clicking on a couple of uh, neutral areas and snow is neutral, it's white. And you can see that there was a blue cast to this image. Next, I'm going to set the white and black point. I'll use the smart color mode, which will tie in the two ends and put the midtones in the middle. But let's bring out the midtone just a little bit. Now we'll go to tab three and we'll boost the overall brightness. Uh, that's probably too much. Let's come back just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to boost the contrast just slightly and let's boost the overall saturation. And that's looking pretty good. I can compare it with the original. I'll click on the preview button and um, made quite a bit of improvement. But I'd really like to pull out the sun back there on these back trees. So I'm going to go to fourth tab. I'll click on the light area and see the uh, automatically picked up the color hue. And we're going to boost the brightness of that a little bit. And the saturation. See how we pull that sun out, not only in the back, but up here on these, uh, this tree over here. Let's compare it with the original, and we've really made a very nice looking snow image in just a matter of, what, a minute or so? Now, if I wanted to turn this into a black and white, I just click on the black and white, and that's a nice black and white, and we'll uh, undo that. And uh, this would also make a very nice old-fashioned sepia image by just clicking on the sepia button. But let's go back to color. And that's it. We'll just click on uh, Edit Image, and uh, we are finished. For more information about Pick the Colors iCorrect Edit Lab Pro plugin, go to their website at pictocolor.com.